Bernie Sanders. <laughs> so kind of looking, it's funny, we've been hearing these buzzwords like, you know, evidence-based, outcomes this, right? For a long time, and we're like, what the hell does that mean, right? And then the Joint Commission said, well, you have to do it now. And it has to be an outcomes measurement tool that's applicable to your entire population, and yada, 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 and it has to be validated. And so my advice, well, and, well let, me, let me back for a minute. If I have a crystal ball, um, which I don't, um, you, have, you, have, you guys have been hearing about social determinants of health and kind of buzzword. So my crystal ball tells me that um, insurance companies will, when they have collected enough data, determine your insurance rates on your social determinants of health. You're just an algorithm, you live in this zip code, you smoke for five years, you've got X number of kids, you're blah, 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 blah. Um, I think they're gonna have similar expectations of providers, right? Um, so if we look at those outcomes, and we're still in the infancy of our outcomes assessment tools, right? We're at BAM, we're looking at addiction, right? After they get out of residential, are we relief? Is BAM relief necessary? Not really, because the cravings have subsided, you know what I mean? After, I'm not saying after 30 days, but maybe you know, after three months. And then we really should look at, okay, well, you know, here when they get to a PHP or IFP level of care, then we're dealing with depression. So let me implement the PHQ-9 or anxiety gap. So really like, don't just do the outcomes tool for the sake of doing the outcomes tool. Like, it should mean something. And you should really look at the data and the data should tell you something. And you can look at it, You and the, no one's stipulating how you should look at the data, right? So I can do the BAM or, you know, with, you know, res and PHP for 90 days. And at 90 days, I'm gonna look at male versus female, you know, um, drug of choice. I'm gonna look at, you know, uh, history of treatment episodes, you know, people between one and three, people between four and six. Um, so you can look at just a, a myriad of other things to really start, and the data will tell you a story, like, okay, why did, you know, uh, why did cravings go up in September uh, for all of our, you know, PHP? Well, we lost a therapist and our best recovery coach went to Cozumel for two weeks, um, and you can kind of determine from that, but I don't know kind of where I was going with that, but social determines and help and make your outcomes stuff, like, mean something. It's not just checking the box.